SLI stock, Standard Lithium Limited, for the session of the 2nd of June 2022, it closed at $5.88, a gain of 5.19%, 778,000 shares across the tape, which was uh, below average. And the pattern we have been pointing out concerning uh, SLI stock, which is that um, before or after the end of every month there's always some sort of a spike above uh, maybe some or all of its moving averages all the way back to let's speak this this is all the way back to okay no, that, that this is the middle this is all the way back to the this is early november of last year 2022 okay what do we have here this is um Okay, yes, this is uh, the end of September of, of last year as well. This is, uh, okay, no, so all the way back to September of last year. So that pattern is still in place before or after. You know, sometimes it's pretty much, you know, right on the end, you know. And as of, uh, of uh, as of April, that's what we have here, I think. Yes, it was of April. It's, okay, April is um, this one. This is April. Yes, it happened on the fourth of of fourth um, of April, even before that time as well. It had spiking, I think, for thirty first. This is exactly it. This is the thought as if at the end of the of March it had um, reached this high of eight point seven eight dollars, cooled off a bit. So we got that one right on on for April for March, right on the last trading session, last right on the last trading session last on right on the on the last day of that month and then in uh, may we saw that it was um in may we had it here on the 4th of may so that pattern is still very much in place you know even though it's not it never really up that absolutely you know, sometimes it is before sometimes it is after afterwards you no know? but we have also seen that uh, since that april rally that took it to nine point uh, one five dollars it, ha it has to it, it has been printing it started to print lower lows and lower highs it was just as of the 12th of may that it started to print higher lows and higher highs okay you can see for the last trading session the last few trading sessions you know reached the 27th of may which is also part of that pattern we are talking about it reached 6.27 there wasn't enough momentum it seems that the volume is also drying out for sli so, but they rallied to 6.27 and it has cooled off now for this last trading session and uh, for two sessions now and it didn't it didn't fall below this low of uh, the mid yeah, this low of uh, 5.4 dollars and has made it just maintained it so which is you know to some extent some positive you know it fell below its 10 and 20 day moving averages but for this last trading session it is now back above those 10 and 20 day moving averages so well uh, what could that possibly mean? You know, um, it's still pretty much consolidated, I think. You know, but um, it's the momentum is not there. The interest is not really there, as such. It's really not there, as such. You know, and we haven't really found any news that um, any fresh news, as such. There are, there are a couple of them. You know, we can see on this daily chart, the momentum the momentum is waning exactly. You know, it's, it's slightly waning. You know, yeah, and um, even though towards the end of this month towards, towards, towards the end of uh, May momentum seemed to be rallying but even though it is rallying doesn't really mean that much it doesn't really mean um, that it is um, it could I mean you could see the chart indicating that there is uh, momentum is improving but in relative terms it may not be enough you know let's look at the volumes and see you can see the volumes are not really that high you see it's faded it has faded out down here as against what it was before now you know so, so yes um it's it's uh definitely some consolidation and there isn't enough enough volumes enough uh even though there's some there seems to be some momentum but it hasn't been with some with enough volume so sli appears to be consolidating within a longer term downtrend shares are presently below the 200 day moving average which is falling along with a 10 day moving average however the average directional directional index or ADX is below 20, indicating that the shares have exhibited sideways movement recently. And it's also lagging the S&P 500. Momentum for SLI, as measured by 14 period slow stochastic oscillators, waning. 
This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be taking profits in, in positions but at lower prices. Yes, that's pretty much the case. And the volume for that last trading session, this, the 2nd of June 2022, was lighter than usual, trading 771,000 shares versus an average of uh, 1.91 million shares per day during the last 12 months. The unbalanced volume indicator shows that longer term selling pressure has given way to near term accumulation by traders. So I think um, the reason for that uh, near term accumulation is uh, largely down to this slight push up we're seeing of late, you know in the in the trend you can see that you know from the from the 20, from the 12th of may it has which was uh pretty much the low of you know probably the low of this year it is the retesting the low of this year so it, going by that you can see that some some buyers are definitely easily buying yes but largely largely the momentum is uh still not not uh, strong when, when you when you when you um uh, compile uh, what it what it has been before so uh, given all of those things we are still maintaining our target of 9.34 dollars for sli stock and i will continue to update you concerning sli stock and uh, thank you very much for watching this video